C-CAMP is an initiative supported by Department of Biotechnology, Government of India with the aim of promoting entrepreneurship and innovation. Its Office of Technology Transfer was established under the National Biopharma Mission to help the research community from Academia connect with startups and the industry. Through strategic evaluation, protection and commercialization of innovations, the Office of Technology Transfer attempts to complement excellent science with entrepreneurship and enterprise. So, to know more about it, we have with us Mr. Shiv Kumar R, who is the Head of Office of Tech Transfer at CCAMP. Let's listen in. When we talk about innovations and then thereafter starting a startup, one a very important part of you know, the process is technology transfer. So we need to have a very thorough understanding of technology transfers when, we, when it comes to you know, having a successful run at the, any, any business. So to make us understand more about that, we have with us Mr. Shiva Kumar from uh, C-Camp to you know, tell us more about it. So uh, welcome sir and uh, thanks for sparing time for us. To begin with, we'd like to understand what this uh, technology transfer is all about and what does it uh, entail? So thank you, Vikas. First of all, you know, thanks to you and the opportunity. Uh, thanks to the Ministry of Education's Innovation Cell. So now coming to the point that you made, uh, you know, for any innovation or invention, technology transfer uh, for innovation to get translated to, uh, to a stage of commercialization, technology transfer becomes very essential. So uh, as the name suggests, it is a transfer of technology or a know-how relating to a product or process and uh, uh, to a stage of commercialization. So in simple terms, if I have to put it, technology transfer is a process wherein you take the technology from lab to market. Uh, so this can happen between uh, any entities, between two individuals, between an individual and a company, between a startup company and to another startup company or a you know, uh, large size company, between an institute and the company, between an institute and institute. So, yeah. The work that CCAMP is doing in that regard. So please explain what CCAMP does in this regard. See, we operate under National Biopharma Mission, uh, funded by BIRAC. So uh, we started off in 2020 as one of the recognized uh, Office of Technology Transfer across the country. So there are a total of seven OTTs across the country and we are one of the recognized TTOs. Uh, we call it as Office of Technology Transfer, uh, but yeah, Baira calls it as Technology Transfer Office. So OTT and TTO means one and the same here. So what we do in the processes, the whole mission is to ensure that, the, uh, that, the, uh, that we catalyze the transition of the laboratory science to the market through cutting edge uh, scientific technologies through expertise and network. Uh, apart from that, we are also mandated to reach out to the institutes in uh, jurisdictions allotted to us. And these jurisdictions are Karnataka, Rajasthan, Punjab, Chandigarh and Chennai Metro, uh, where we have to uh, you know, uh, reach out to institutes or universities. It could be private institute, it could be a government institute and you know, help them in uh, IP and technology transfer. That is one part. The other mandate is to uh, reach out to the individuals or startups across the country and help them, support them in IP and technology transfer. So how successful has been the Office of Technology Transfer at CCAM in bringing out new technologies in the market? We have, uh, like I said, we we, uh, we were established in 2020 and since then we have received a lot of inquiries in terms of technology transfer and uh, we do get involved in technology transfer on a regular basis. You know, some of the recent examples that I would, uh, I, I can say is that, you know, uh, a technology related to a novel germicidal coated fabric. Uh, this is from Instem and the technology relates to a germicidal compound and coating onto the germicidal compound onto a fabric so that they neutralize the enveloped viruses. Uh, and uh, the fabric can be washed up to uh, you know, 45 washes. 
and this is particularly helpful for hospitals which is looking for uh, you know uh, fabrics which have which are recycled so that way you know this technology is very uh, prominent in the sense that we were involved in technology transfer of this particular technology and the licensee in this case uh, is aditya vella so that is one example the uh, other example that i can give uh, is a very recent example where uh, we got a technology license to a company called survive x um, for therapeutic molecules for combating sepsis like this there are several technologies that we are uh, looking at on a regular basis and we are transferring uh, we are ensuring that the technology meet its end in terms of you know transfer uh, and commercialization so what are the processes involved in uh, to achieve a successful uh, technology transfer in the earlier stages we were following a conventional approach where you receive any inquiry then you assess the technology and see if it has potential for technology transfer then you know uh, then you negotiate scout for industry partners but now i think the approach is a bit changed we believe in traveling with the inventors right from stage 1 i would say stage 0 uh, so when you travel with the inventors or faculties or with the you know researchers it kind of uh, gives you a holistic feeling that that you know that everything is going well right from stage 0 you're guiding the inventors as to what is right what is wrong what needs to be protected what need not be you know looked at it uh, what need not be looked into from the ip perspective uh what are the aspects that one can look into from ip perspective when they are venturing into someone else's space so all these factors plays a very critical role in the early stages of discussion particularly when it comes to startup companies because startup companies they have lot of things to do and ip and uh, you know technology transfer is something which is very critical and essential so we believe in traveling with the inventors right from stage 0 that is you have a research and r&d done and you have a product or process out of r&d then what happens is you evaluate the uh, product or process from the point of ip protect it then market the technology license the technology after licensing ensure that the licensed technology is commercialized so this is a this is an entire cycle <laughs> so how do you measure the success of uh, uh, technology transfer there is no one stop solution to this question uh, it depends on the technology uh, there could be certain technologies which could uh, you know uh, get licensed without uh, efforts that has put into in terms of generating more data in certain cases for example when it comes to therapeutic molecules or drugs uh, particularly in the field of life science when you have a technology uh the technology should be assessed at several levels uh whether the technology is at trl 1 to 10 and uh, uh, the more you know the numbers are increased in terms of trl value then the technology holds a strong value that is one second is when it comes to therapeutic molecules and drugs uh you need to have some data in terms of clinical trials for it to be you know really successful in terms of commercialization while you may be able to transfer the technology in the beginning stage there is a whole lot of thing that you need to do for for such molecules to come out to the market ultimately it will be tested on individuals means to say it has to work uh, safe it has to be non toxic it has to be efficacious so particularly those kind of technologies will take a lot more time so you can measure the success of any particular technology whether it has reached a stage of commercialization it all depends on the kind of technology that you have in hand what strategies do you employ to effectively market and promote uh, technology transfer initiatives first strategy is to travel whenever there is any inquiry travel with the inventors or researchers right from stage 0 and uh, occasionally have periodic discussions with them on several aspects in terms of ip protection technology transfer and scouting for industry partners how can they market their technology that is the first uh, you know measure that you should have second is you need to have right expertise within the team and within the network uh, here in ott at c camp we have expertise from different backgrounds like you know like we have ip specialists who can take care of 
IP drafting, protection, prosecution of patent applications, still it's grant. We have licensing specialists who, you know, actually assess the technology from licensing point of view, uh, evaluate the technology uh, as to how much value it holds, scout for industry partners, negotiate with industry partners, and then ensure that the technology is licensed. And we have a third uh, category of professionals uh, who are totally into agreements. Yeah, uh, agreements, more of a legal person who would help us in everything. There are inquiries or there could be a stage in different phases you would need some advice on legal aspects, on NDA, on MTA, on spin-offs from the institute, on agreements, uh, license agreements, on term sheets before licensing agreement. So you should have right kind of expertise within your team so that you know that kind of builds confidence uh, uh, with people who are you know coming to us in terms of inquiring about IP and technology transfer. Third is you need to have uh, robust tools in terms of databases for one for searches for IP protection or it, it could be for you know conducting freedom to operate conducting invalidation and so on tools for assessing the technology and evaluating the technology so you mentioned ip here so how do you manage the uh, intellectual property issues while the technology transfer is on while the technology transfer is initiated uh, it is uh, critical for one to assess the technology in hand what is the trl level of the technology what is the value that the technology holds and these are done by using tools where we can you know take some precedence evaluate the uh, technology uh, while we do this it is also important for someone to keep in mind uh, particularly an ip or tech transfer professional to keep in mind uh, that there is a freedom to operate of course this is all dependent on um, whether the industry partner with whom we are negotiating in terms of licensing whether you know the freedom to operate will be conducted by them or should it be done by us on behalf of the inventors so uh, there are a lot of confi uh, confidentiality uh, issues or confidential information related to any startup or you know any of the business venture so how do you take care of those confidentiality issues while uh, the transfer is uh, being conducted yeah so i think uh, first and foremost the moment we receive any inquiry and we uh, are uh, going to negotiate with any party involved, we execute uh, NDA, confidentiality agreement with them. We also execute, uh, you know, uh, MOU uh, uh, with the parties so that, you know, we have the agreements in place in terms of confidentiality, in terms of the understanding and the responsibilities of the parties involved. So that kind of takes care of uh, the confidentiality issues. So does it even any time you know go down to mediation or something happens which you are not goes out of control and a mediation is required? So do you deal with that part also? Uh, we don't uh, uh, cater to mediation or you know arbitration uh, because we uh, are restricted in terms of expertise only in IP and technology transfer. Uh, yeah, I mean uh, we have not seen any. Uh, case where we have gone to stage of mediation or arbitration but yeah in future if it happens so we may have to reach out to arbitrators uh, who can perform this activity. Do you also monitor the performance of our technology after the transfer has been done performance of you know on various parameters how the startup is doing after the technology transfer? Yeah. On, and if you do then how do you uh, I mean what techniques do you employ to monitor that? After the technology uh, is transferred that is, once the term sheet is decided, license agreement is executed, we uh, kind of, you know, we keep a uh, note of who are the parties involved. We have specific databases where we input all the information about any uh, technology that is transferred. And then we have uh, periodic uh, reports from them, from all the parties involved, from the licensee, from the licensor, to understand where the technology has reached in terms of commercialization. It could be the efforts made by the licensee to take this, uh, take the technology uh, uh, to a diff to different phases of commercialization. Uh, it could be uh, a case where 
you know it has reached a stage of commercialization and the products or processes or the products out of processes are sold and then we will get uh, periodic reports of how much it is sold and then you know uh, uh, we keep track of all these things and then reach out to licensee licensor and ensure that the obligations that they have under the license agreement are fulfilled so here's something very very vital and important is protecting the interest of both the parties the investor the inventor as well as the licensee so it's it could be very tricky at times so how do you manage that part yeah very interesting and a tricky question like you said uh so uh, when we receive enquiries and uh, there are two parties involved licensee and licensor you weigh uh, the interest of both the parties uh, pros and cons uh, as to what happens when they enter into a license agreement and what are the benefits that the, the parties are going to get out of the license agreement and accordingly uh, ensure that you know that you have a win win for both the inventors as well as to the uh, licensee so that is where you know it all depends on uh, mm, uh, considering all these factors how you negotiate on the table from uh, with both the parties see to that that the parties both of them are comfortable with the kind of clauses and with the kind of negotiation that is going on and have a win win situation for both of them still trying to achieve that balance but yeah it, yeah Uh, each case is different yeah. yeah and so it keeps challenging here it yeah it is very challenging yeah each case is very challenging and at the same time is intriguing very interesting to know different situations so but as long as you are able to handle it i think uh, you should be happy yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah each case is unique like you said yeah you are at a vantage uh, position where you, from where you can view the you know growth of technology as well as startup culture in the country so what change have you come across uh, from the past few years i mean we are better off or we are like way better off or we are at the same level or what kind of a change have you witnessed when it comes to uh, the technology development and of course transfers the number of technology transfer also gives you an idea about the growth so in holistic view from you i mean what kind of a growth have you seen from there so growth has been very tremendous in my opinion mm. earlier you know uh, before 15 years when i started off my career in ip uh people were not of uh, of uh, aware of uh, the fact that there is something called as ip you know the moment i used to talk about intellectual property rights people would ask me oh are you a real estate agent because there is property the term uh, property yeah, yeah. associated with it so from there if i uh, think from there and frame from where uh, we have reached today this lot of awareness about ip lot of uh, awareness about technology transfer uh, so that way and there are a lot of examples that we can quote in terms of successful uh, uh, transfer of technology we have seen a tremendous growth and uh, it is not only a point where we as technology uh, uh, transfer professionals we our job is to ensure that uh, uh, that there is a technology and we have to license it out you also have to see how it could impact the society that way if you see there are a lot of technologies that are transferred in last few years and that have uh, had a significant uh, impact on society and also economic uh, development of the country yeah so great uh, shivakumar it was wonderful talking to you and the insight that we got from you about the technology transfer are really precious and i hope everyone watching this would be able to you know benefit from all this thank you so much for sparing time thank you vikas and thanks to ministry of education's innovation cell for taking this initiative and you know inviting me for uh, <laughs> for the session thank you so much thanks this was mr shiv kumar r head of ott at c camp in the coming editions we'll meet some more personalities from well known institutions who are working hard to make a difference till then goodbye